Another turning point, folks stuck in the room. Time takes you by the wrist, directs you where to go. What comes to mind when I think of Rich is authenticity, man. It's so cool to see Rich in action. He is so passionate. You can just feel it. You want to follow him. Creative, energetic, passionate. You get the feeling he cares about you and your needs. He's a servant leader. He also has a very deep affection for the University of California, Berkeley, and for the Haas School. He's a great speaker, but he's also an amazing listener. You think about the four defining principles and how he was the one to really set that into motion. Passion and purpose. Here's a man who wears his heart on his sleeve, but is always driven by that North Star. And I think that focus on his North Star has inspired all the Berkeley Haas to follow it as well. I come from a very businessy family, and when I was young, we'd fill up our red station wagon with the, the fake wood paneling on it with pumpkins. We would sell them together to the neighbors, and I loved that. When I got to Berkeley, I kind of knew I wanted to be a business major. When I got here, a faculty member pulled me aside in one of my classes and asked me if I'd ever thought about getting a PhD. Four years later, I'm in a PhD program in economics and living a totally different life. I'd known Rich since graduate school. We decided that we would hire him at the first available opportunity. It was easy to persuade the faculty to hire him. He fit in immediately. This is exactly what is right for me, and that voice goes off for me when I'm in front of a class that's really lit up around an idea or a case or what have you. I, I feel most alive at that moment. The board chose Rich because of his passion his ability to see the potential that Haas had to become a top five business school in the world. Dean Lyons had had an experience at Goldman Sachs where he came to realize that the culture of an organization really adds value. Margot Alexander had said to me, yes, you're our dean, but you're also the chief purpose officer. You need to continue to instill a larger sense of purpose in the people around you. Rich came up with the idea of the defining principles. When Rich rolled that out uh, as a concept to both the board and the faculty, it was the most universally accepted idea I've ever seen. It was unique, it was inspirational, it was differentiated. The goal of the defining principles was not just to kind of brand the school, but also to draw a line in the sand about the kind of leaders we intended to produce and the kind of impact we intended those leaders to have on the world. The people that come to Haas are the people that believe those principles and those are the people that I want to interact with. I really believe that we live, breathe, and bleed those four principles. Rich has focused on important things that are going to have great longevity. Chu Hall will allow the capacity to bring on more students, to bring on more excellent faculty. In 1995, we had about 1,300 students. By the time I started as dean, we had 2,200 students. So we were bursting at the seams. We needed space that mapped into the way the work of a business school has changed. Rich may have been one of the few people in the universe who could have pulled this off. To roll up nine of the top ten largest gifts of all time. At the kind of grand vision level, it's about recombining Berkeley. The programs that Rich has really spearheaded, MET, which is the combination of engineering and business training, it's a game changer. We want to launch something very, very similar in the life sciences. If we mash up in this geography, those scientific units with this business school, it, it really is gonna be unbeatable. I think Dean Lyons will be best remembered for the wonderful building that he has given us, for the defining principles, and of course for his guitar playing. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. The leader I aspire to be 
is Rich Lyons. He was the most humble person I've ever met. I was asked at a staff town hall, what is my six word memoir? Lifelong love affair with ideas, comma, learning. The Berkeley leader is somebody that's willing to bend paths and solve some of the world's most difficult problems. It's someone who embodies the defining leadership principles. That's Rich, and that's Rich's legacy. Hope you have the time of your